Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, just wanted to share with you all my thoughts on two of the new teasers that came out for Patch 3.1. Now, I'll admit it's a bit of a stretch to make a video on this, but I've done it in the past, so I figured, why not? We are clamoring for any sort of information we can get on Patch 3.1 at this point, let's be honest. So, which is why I think it's funny, Patch 3.1 is less than a month away. Thank God they put that at the top. Wish they said less than a week away, but I know I can't be that optimistic. And today we give you a glimpse at the events that we'll see that will soon unfold in the main scenario. So there's a main scenario uh, preview and a Void Arc preview. I was specifically told to look at the Void Arc preview. I've already looked at it. I have some words for it. So it's, it's going to be interesting. And for those of you who don't know, Ethis almost definitely has to be working on a video after seeing this Void Arc preview because it's going to answer a lot of questions and put us towards a lore. Um, lore theories in the, in a new direction than I had originally anticipated going forward with the Void Arc. So, the main scenario, as goes light, so goes darkness. In the wake of the Warrior of Light's return from Azus La, the nation of Ishgard trembled, the faith of her people shaken to its very core. For a thousand years had they fought and died, certain of the justice of their cause, only to be told that their holy war was born of blood and betrayal. What then? for those brave men and women, thus stripped of their righteousness, but to despair, to deny the truth and decry its speakers? And what then for those whom they defamed, but to hope on, to have faith in a brighter tomorrow? A tomorrow in which man and dragon might live together in harmony, then as distant as the very stars in the heaven. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. It was worth it. I'm going to say it was worth it. So we have this screenshot at the top, which shows Yashtola doing the barrier thing again. We get it. She's an astro at this point. That barrier, like, I just every patch, she's going to be doing it. I have a feeling. Uh, and then we have one of the, what looks like an elder from Ishgard. Uh, maybe I'm just being ignorant and I don't remember this exact person, but just looks like another. It, it, you know what? It's probably one of the leaders of the other houses, if I had to make a, an immediate guess, because this guy looks familiar to me uh, right off the bat just watching this. But then if you scroll down, this is interesting. It's a Lalafell in a hood. Fantastic, right? The thing is, if you look at the top, that looks like a devout hood. Devout being one of the classes, or I'm sorry, jobs from Final Fantasy V. It's been in other Final Fantasies as well. But it's very well known because uh, Krill, you know, a character from Final Fantasy V, is very often depicted as a, as a devout. So some people are guessing this may be Final Fantasy XIV's equivalent to Krill. I uh, I don't know. It's it's possible. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past them. I'm not for always just taking characters from earlier Final Fantasies unless they're implemented in an interesting way. I'm curious to see if this does end up being something related. It's not exactly like a devout hood. It's only the hood itself is like a devout hood. The rest of the outfit doesn't really mesh with the with ex the exact look of a devout. But you know what? It's Final Fantasy 14. It's got to make its own. So we'll see where that ends up going. Maybe it's Krill. Maybe it's just. A throwback to devout maybe it's a teaser for one of the new jobs in the expansion i'm not gonna go down that route we still people still want red mage and samurai and then we have the void arc preview now i you know i will say this square enix if you're gonna release these previews with just screenshots i'd honestly rather get like a piece of the entire 3.1 trailer because you know the 3.1 trailer shows this and they run around and they fight a few mobs and then it shows like the final boss teaser um, I'd rather you just take that section of your, of your completed trailer and do that instead of like two, three screenshots and a couple of line of text. It's a lot more hype to look at than these little previews. I think it's something that they could definitely learn towards because people will eat that alive. Like, oh my God, did you see the way they ran? It looked like they had to do a puzzle. All oh, that boss, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So Void Arc gets a little preview right here, a little explanation. Uh, with advances in the usage of airship and amidst the arrival of the so-called Great Sky Mage, these were, these were in the last live letter, these exact explanations, I think. There are those who ride their own airships through the skies seeking hidden lands and mystery. They are known as Sky Pirates. There has been a rumor spreading amongst the Sky Pirates of a ghost ship wandering around the skies, an arc filled with evil power that was created long ago by mages to run from cataclysm. So here is where things get interesting. If you scroll down, Look who's back, Diablos. Now, some people are already thinking, oh my god, they're recycling. We were actually told that he was returning. Uh, Void Sense, if I'm not mistaken, can't really die all the way. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure that Diablo said he was still weak from his slumber when we met him in the Lost City of Amdapur. And Koji Fox himself said that's not the last time you'll see him. Well, he was doing a translation, I think, but he said that, that, wasn't, that Lost City was not the last time we were going to see Diablos. He was going to return at some point. 
and we were all interested in when he was going to return these 24 man bosses might not be very difficult in terms of what they're capable of just because you know it's scaled back for more casual content but 24 people up against Diablos does seem to be a, a pretty big improvement over the four people we initially had so with that out of the way that gives us a lot of lore speculation um they're one of the three um nations from the war of the magis you know the most ones people most people know are nim and uh nim and the amdapori this he was not actually amdapori now uh the reason why i know this is because this was actually a question on the last irizivia for those of you who uh watch the um state of the realm we had a little lore trivia and i have the exact name of them somewhere over here i can't really pronounce it all too well because it's like m c a h it's like Macayans or something like that uh I, uh, is this it? Let's see. The Mc McCann's, McCann's, it's either McCann's or McCain's or something like the McCain's. Uh, it's like M-H-A-C-H-A-N, something like that. They're the ones who summoned Diablos inside of the Lost City of Amdapur. So this is very likely, and, uh, uh, what's it called, more information about their lore. They're like the one, part, they're like the third part of the Warring Nations or the War of the Magi that we don't know a lot about. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this ties into lore and how it ties into the lore of Nim and the Amd and Amdipori. So um, real quickly, item level requirement minimum is 175. You'll notice that's five item levels higher than Alexander. To me, that all but solidifies that this is I-200 gear. Uh, most of us knew that already. It's going to drop I-200 gear. It's going to have, it's going to have, um, gob twines and gob coots maybe gob dips eventually i don't know that for certain but 25 item levels under the item level it actually drops was exactly the way that um crystal tower worked throughout the entire thing the first second and third floor all had like minimum item level 55 minimum item level uh 75 and minimum item level 95 i believe so it makes sense that it's going to be i200 i think we all kind of expected that anyway for those who don't know, the party makeup is indeed going to be one tank, two healers, five DPS to each party, so three tanks, six healers, and uh, 15 DPS overall. And then we have the armor sets. We've seen most of these before. Now, I'm going to see if I can blow this up a little bit more so we can get a closer look. It gets a little bit more pixelated, but that's okay. So I'm trying to figure out which one is which here. I think we can all tell which one the white mage and the black mage is. Those are on the left-hand side. I'm almost positive because they're the same outfit, but one's white, one's black. The ones on the right are almost definitely um, monk and dragoon uh, separate. I, I'd, I'd imagine the one on the far right is probably monk, and the one next to it is probably dragoon. Uh, and then we have... Which one is the tank set here? Like, I can't tell. See, that's the thing. Oh, and then it looks like... Um, the ninja set is the one on the far left, and the bard set might be the one in the middle left, and then the tank set might be the middle right. It's actually pretty hard to tell. I'd actually expect a tank set to look like that, but the fact that there's their armor is very similar, but it's a different color scheme, leads me to believe that one of those is... Both of those are dexterity items. One's bard, one's uh, ninja. If you have, if, if you can figure it out, if somebody, like, has the full, like, I think it's this, this, and this, be sure to post in the comment section below. I'm actually a pretty big fan of these armor sets. The ninja one looks okay with the color scheme that they have on the left. I don't know if I'm a fan of these overall, though. I mean, I have no problems with the tatters. You know, it's old. Like, this, it's, it's ancient stuff. It actually, it, it makes more sense than finding these perfectly fit clothes on this boss. Like, I don't know. It doesn't bother me for that reason, just because it makes sense to me. Or in this treasure chest, for whatever reason, this perfectly folded item. Here you go. You beat me. <laughs> I, made sure, I made sure to get it dry cleaned. Um, but that being said... I don't know if this outside of that. I don't. I like the black mage and the white mage one actually. I like the dragon and monk one. I'm not a fan of what looks like the tank ninja and uh, bard ones. I, I don't know. They just don't appeal to me very much. They almost look like, like you're like you're in Alaska, like the the ninja and the bard one. So I don't know. Let me know what you think of this gear. What do you think of Diablos returning for the Void Arc? Are you interested in the lore that the Void Arc is going to bring with the War of the Magi likely being the center of the lore for this? Uh, and let me know what you think about the main scenario. If you think that's Krill, what you think the Elder is up to, how you think the patch is going to go, all that stuff. Leave your comments in the comment section of the video below. But anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video where hopefully I have more than like five screenshots to show you. But anyway, until then, take care.